you know when to make the drop. Right? Later. What are you doing? Later. Nothing. I'm just pining away for my beautiful fiance. Yeah, pining away my patootie. Was that work? No, no. It cops on her. Oh, I mean it. Please, you've got to concentrate on getting better, okay? Well, so you can get out of this hospital bed. Do you want to get married in this hospital bed? No. <laughs> married? <clears throat> Mama really getting married? It is for real, and we are getting married. It's not exactly how we wanted to tell you, however, but yes, your father proposed, and I accept it. Eventually. Oh. When, just now? Um, no, the, when he came out of surgery the other day. And you waited this long to tell me? Well, your mom didn't want to jinx it. No, no, I didn't want the morphine drip to have addled your brain. I wanted to make sure, you know, so I wanted you to sleep on it and, you know. Make sure before you be announced it to the world. But I'm not the world. I know you're not, sweetie. Of course you're not. You're, you're the first on the list. So, what do you think? Well, you guys definitely did take your time. Yeah, but we have your blessing. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Oh, Congratulations. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Wait, wait, you didn't think I would have a problem with this, did I you? I don't, didn't know. I had no idea. Well, I only want this my entire life. Well, that takes the pressure off the next question. How do you feel about being your old man's best man? Are you serious? Hell yeah. There's no one I'd rather have standing up for me. I wouldn't miss it. But, but what? What about Uncle Clint? What about me? Well, while you're all getting your story straight, I got something to do. This, uh, this is for you, Bo. Some Nigel. Ace is lighter. Yeah, the one and only. And he wants you to know that, uh, that it comes with a box of Cubans that Asa left him. And you're going to enjoy those as soon as you're well enough to. I wouldn't mind enjoying a nice stogie once you get out of here, huh, Dad? What? <laughs> Clint, would you mind telling uh, Nigel that I said thank you very much? Yeah, he would have come himself, but for some reason he has to personally oversee spring cleaning this year. So I volunteered to deliver the gift myself. I sure do appreciate that. Uh, do you think you maybe you could stick around for a little while? Yeah, I got a couple of minutes. What's up? Matthew, don't you have some homework to do? Yeah, you do. R right, homework. Um, see you, Dad. See you. Yeah, see you later. All right, what's happening? What do you two want to talk about? We're getting married. Getting married? Yeah. That figures. Well, I'm sure that it, uh, it must come as some surprise to you. I mean, we really hadn't planned. Uh, oh, no, no, of course not. Of course not. Things just sort of happen to the two of you. When I woke up after surgery, I found out that I'd almost died, and I thought about just how much time I wasted. And I don't want to wait any longer to, uh, for Nora and I to be together permanently. And I'm sure that you must have felt the same way when you proposed to Kim all of a sudden. I mean, we I'm not asking for your blessing. I think that would be too much to ask for. We really want, for the three of us, to pull together, you know, and, and wish each other happiness again, be part of one another's lives. You know, and, and maybe the four of us could have dinner, you, Kim, Bo, and me. Well, you're gonna be waiting a long time. Kim is not in the picture anymore. So let's hear it, give it to me. Give you what? The I told you so's, I mean, you're thinking it, you might as well say it. Oh, Clint. Oh, come on. We just want you to be happy. That's all. And Kim seemed to make you happy. Oh, Nora. Please. Please. It is not a secret how you felt about Kim and my relationship with her. And both of you thought that she was just a gold digger and I was with her simply to get some sort of payback. You know, Clint, you know what? It doesn't matter what we thought. We don't want you to be miserable. Well, thanks. I guess. Is there anything we can do? 
Well, you can now concentrate on your own marriage instead of concerning yourself with mine. Bo, enjoy the gift. I just can't help thinking about Clint and Kim. Me too. You know, I did think some nasty things. I did. I mean, come on. He proposed to an ex-stripper... New elite executive assistant? I mean, it just seemed like a big, huge reaction to you and me. Well, I know. I think most people thought the same thing. But then, you know, I ran into them a couple of times, and I gotta say that there actually seemed to be some sort of connection between the two of them. It was really quite sweet and real. And now it's gone. And there we are, shoving our happiness in his face. No, no, no. No, oh. no. Don't go there. Oh. Look, no. If we call off our engagement, I mean, that's not going to do anybody any good. It might buy Clint some more time. The time to do what? To sit around and think how much in love we are? I'm just feeling guilty all over again. I know. So am I. But if we, if we postpone our wedding, I mean, that's not going to that's not going to change anything. We put our lives on hold. We end up feeling miserable, and Clint's going to end up feeling worse. So what do we do? We just forget about your brother? No. We move on. And we hope to God that Clint moves on with us. Is it safe? Yeah. Yes, the coast is clear. Come on in. So? Well, your Uncle Clint knows that we are getting married. Is he okay? I think that it went about as well as it could. So you're still getting married? Absolutely. Nothing is going to stop me from marrying your mom again. Good. That way you don't have to return this box. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, Dad. Uh, what's going on here? What is that? This? This is just a little something to make it official. Oh, my God. How did you do That's when you were on the phone, wasn't it? I don't know what you're talking about. Hope you forgive me for not dropping down on one knee. <laughs> there. I think I'll maybe have to forgive you this one time. But next time. No, <laughs> no next time. <laughs> this is awesome.